What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. Now today we're going to do a quick beginner tutorial, just show you guys briefly how to access the ghost note feature inside Studio One. Um, this is something that was made popular by FL Studio. It is a really effective way to work with MIDI and um, it's useful with percussions and musical elements. So for example, one, one reason why you would use this feature is to say match the bass notes of a chord progression to your 808s. So say I had a, um, Say I drew myself a chord progression with exhale or something, right? So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it real simple and to the point. Let's just run this in D minor. So say we had Say we had say we had something like this, right? And then I went ahead and I drew my kicks in. And then I went ahead and copied those up. And I have my 808 track now, so we have this going. Right, so, and that chord progression is trash, forgive me. So if I wanted to figure out um, where to move, where to move these notes to, you know, go along with the, go along with the chord progression, it, you know, it'd be annoying to have to click back and forth to see. So what you want to do is you want to, is you want to, this, this button typically isn't open when you run Studio One. Um, just off the ground and what and what this icon represents is this is the you'll see it in different you'll see it in different channels is this icon represents the list of channels that you have available to you so for example in inspector you can you can see them here okay in the mixer you could or in in the piano roll you could see them here and you'll notice it in the mixer as well You'll be able to pull. You'll be able to pull them up. So that's so that's what those four lines mean. Now, if we go back into piano roll, you see all these other ones are grayed out. So you have a couple options here. This pencil indicates that you can edit the track that you're on. So you see, I have 808, and this is a this is another reason why it's really good to label your tracks and stay organized, right? So if I click that off, you see those notes get grayed out. I can't edit them. If I put the pencil back on, I can, you know, I could grab them, do whatever I need to do. Now, if I want to see another track, um, we were using exhale, right? I click on the cert, you know, on this circle right here, and that will expose it to me. You want to make sure that if you don't want to edit the track, you do not have the pencil engaged, right? Because you can have multiple tracks, you can edit multiple tracks at once. You don't want to do that for what we're doing here. And then all you got to do. Um, to follow along with the you know with the chord progression is just move these in line with your chords and say you want to you want to take some of these notes and you know move around then you get something that sounds like this simple and to the point ghost notes Brought to you by CMP and Craftmaster Productions. Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we will see you on the next one.